Welcome back to Legend of Dragoon. We are here in Khaleesi. We're going to figure out what happens in the winds of winter. I mean, um, we're in the capital of the Winglings. What is this? Oh, this is a heal. Okay, so this could very well be... <laughs> Maybe it's a good grind spot. I don't know. This is... Heading down here. But honestly, not a bad grinding spot. I don't know. We'll see. I get the sense that there's going to be a boss coming up or something. So I'll hold off until I get to that boss. Oh, right. He's dispirited. Yes. Righty Roo. Yeah, that, that one messes me up just because of the way that it like introduces lag. Okay, cool, great. But you know what? Yeah, eh, I don't know. Maybe there's better grinding spots in the world. We'll see what's up. So this is um more or less right after. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've just finished recording the episode previous to this one. Uh, tidied up a few things, addressed a few matters, and then I was like, oh, you know what, I got time, so. yes. Yes. Figured I'd dive in there. Okay. <clears throat> I don't really understand what's going on in this room. <laughs> Uh, am I supposed to kill these things? I'm going to imagine yes. Crush Nant. So long as one of my dudes goes, I should be able to get in there and dissuade this. I don't know if that fixed Dart or not. <laughs> I think I can become a Dragoon to, like, deal with statuses, though, right? Okay. That's right. This must be. The seal for that. We can move on when we destroy them all. I got it. All right. Is there, like, some caveat to this that I have not yet witnessed? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, this thing is hot on my heel. But that would deal with it, right? Okay, great. Now I'm gonna get a random battle. <laughs> At least it looks like I'm going to. Maybe not. 
All right, is this secret side stuff or is this intentional progression? Thank you, game. Okay. What a big facility. <clears throat> oh my god. Yeah, seriously, it's huge. And again, for a good portion of this, I don't even know if I'm going the right way. I'm just kind of going away. <laughs> um, all right. Let's just go special here. Cool. Yeah, I think that's the better move right now. I hope that alleviates all these status conditions. And... Can I? Yeah, can I just wind blaster? <laughs> Try and knock them all out in one go. I don't know how much stronger this is going to be right now. And I, again, I, re I recognize that I probably don't have a very magically strong party composition right at this particular moment, but, uh, yeah, two of them gone. I'll do it. I'll take that. Sora. Aw, now Kongle's sad. Progress, as always. What's in here? Okay, bye. Oh, this looks cool. This is the Dragon Blocks app. It doesn't look very impressive. Can we really consume? Rain the divine dragon with this? You can never tell the size of the magical power from the size of the object. The power of this staff alone has been sealing off the divine dragon for more than 10,000 years. I see. And when we take this back and deploy our defense of the royal capital, the divine dragon will be no match for us. It won't be as easy as you imagine because the staff is clearly attached to like a bigger entity or enemy or something it's like clearly it's like it there's something that's going to come with this when we pull it out the divine dragon is not the same as the other dragons even with the staff and us dragoons we will have reason for thanks if we can seal him back in is lloyd taming such monster talking about that i don't think it's possible the Divine Dragon would never give in. They couldn't kill him either. That's why he was sealed in. It's way beyond Lloyd's ability to deal with. Then it means Lloyd has not taken any action yet? Maybe he cannot act. There is no sign he is going after the next Divine Moon object yet. The Moon Object. You must have it in meals or so, don't you? A Divine Object with a name starting with Moon? I don't want to talk about it. How come? It's not your business. Just focus on how you can bring the staff back now. Okay. I'm getting it. <sighs> what the heck is this? All right, so Dragon Block Staff. 
let's take from the name of this and presume likeliness this thing doesn't like ragoons or is very effective against them. So I'm going to start and just stay in my human forms as long as I can. Okay, he's going to cast a lot of spells. That makes sense. This looks pretty intense. If it deals less than 500 damage per hit, I'm okay. I'm smooth sailing. Mm. That's what I was a little worried about. So that means I need to do a heal probably soon here. But being able to do strong additions is going to be a major benefit. Uh, let's throw down a healing breeze just to keep our fighting strength up. This should do a half heal on everyone, uh, which should put us in okay positions. And we will continue hammering on. Yes. Okay, we have to survive another one of those. Uh, oh no, this is just focus on Albert. Which isn't great, but it does let us use those healing fog instead of uh, healing breeze. Oh no. Okay, level goes down. <clears throat> Did level go down by five or level went down by one? Is that permanent or just for this fight? <laughs> Brutal. Well, good thing I'm a little over leveled then. Uh, let's keep it up with Healing Breeze. Okay. Uh, I messed that up. That's not great. Kongle, you are my heavy hitter here. So being able to nail that's super important. <clears throat> Although it does seem like I'm getting diminishing returns here, so losing that level is particularly brutal. Uh, but I can only imagine, like, what? How much health does can this thing have, right? I would like if everyone was dealing like a minimum of 500 damage per hit. The benefit there being that, uh, well, you could count out thousands and say if like the boss had like 5,000 health, you would be like, okay, 10 good hits and we know it's just done. But we will persevere the best we can. <sighs> I want to heal Albert because I don't want to risk losing him. Yes. But again, I want to deal damage before we get to the level. There's no way that's only going to happen once, right? <clears throat> oh, that's never good. Oh, you suck. Uh, Kongle's the worst person for me to try and use magic with. So. Jeez, now we have to undo that 1390 before we do anything else. 
gross. Another D level. This is just focusing on Dart, which is not ideal. Well, maybe it's a new one. I don't know. No, it's just saying Dart. That could have been worse. Um. Uh, yeah, let's use a Healing Breeze to accommodate Albert and Dart here. That should get them back to both basically full health. And the tops up Kongle, so whatever. Yes. Yes. Go. First dance. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, not ideal, but this is actually one of his weaker spells from what I witnessed, so. That's okay. <laughs> it just becomes that much more important to nail my additions. Hmm. Well, we're we're in it now. There's no other way to get out of it but through. Uh, oh, did we win? Oh, okay. I was expecting something like way harder than that. <laughs> like I was expecting for like another like 10 minutes the straight slogging through, but uh... all right, cool. New Moonstrike edition. Sweet. Um, you know, that's cool. Sweet, awesome. <clears throat> Acquired Dragon Block Staff. We didn't know there was a guardian. The ancestor should have told us so. I didn't know that either. Anyway, the Dragon Block Staff is in our hand. Let's go back out quickly. Yeah, I mean, like, we got the thing we needed. Let's do the moose. Uh, yeah. Now, here's the thing. I recognize there's a pretty cool grinding spot in there. And I didn't even go up. I went immediately to the side, so I may have missed something. <laughs> but eh, say la vie, so just life, you know, what can you do? I'm not going through all those portals again right now. Um Yeah. Can't really complain. We'll just uh knock out a boss there and then fight these yes. Do, oh yeah i'm gonna immediately mess up i'm glad my the d level was my opponent that would have been really sad so. ah whatever i messed up Hey, now Kongle caught up to the level 29 party. Oh, you know what I should? I should turn on the Moonstrike edition. Because I think this is the last one that Dart has before his ultimate. So we should start collecting iterations of Moonstrike successfully and then messing it up because I'm awful at edition. Oh. It cannot be. That the divine dragon? Don't be silly, it's too early. 
Oh no, Deningrad. We gotta run. Gotta run. Gotta run. Did you get the dragon block staff? We did, but the dra fine dragon, I know. I'm teleporting you to Deningrad. Ancestor, it's too much. You don't have power like in the old days, do you? We have no time left to think. We are too late. Is, is this bedding, Brad? The Crystal Palace is destroyed. Queen Teresa. Don't be such a laggard. Shauna's in the castle, too. Oh. Get out of my way, old man. Get, get out of my way. Oh. Lord, shut up! Shut up! Maybe I should be talking to these people. Oh no! What I was most afraid of! Uh, divine tree! What do you desire from us? I mean, it's a tree. Probably like sunlight and water. City! Luana, wake up! Ah, uh, Sister Miranda. Sister Miranda, are we alive? Good. It seems you are not injured either. I, I was scared. Stop crying. The Divine Dragon is gone, and we will take care of it. Did you get the Divine Blocks? The, the Dragon Block staff? Yes, we did. Now we can prepare for the next raid. What do you mean, next? The Psyche that the Divine Dragon sent towards the Crystal Palace was a black bottomless mass of hate. There must be a next. I won't let him. What about Queen Teresa? Is Queen Teresa safe? Hey, 
Wake up. Uh, yes, ma'am. Sister Miranda, take care of these two. Don't worry. Queen Teresa is safe. Wink is fine, too. Everything is fine, thanks to her. Are you all right? We are fine. Sister Miranda went upstairs. What about Shauna? She should be upstairs. Shauna! Are you Shauna? Oh, Shauna. Wink. Are you all right? I totally remember who Wink is. Uh, I am fine. Sister Miranda gave me treatment. Huh? Shauna's room. Wait, Miss Shauna is alive. She must be upstairs with Queen Teresa. I got it. Shauna! Wow, what is this light? What is going on? I don't know, when I came it was already like this. Shauna. Queen Teresa, where are you? Shauna. Queen Teresa. Dart? It's me, can you understand? Dart, everybody, you are safe. How about Queen Teresa? Uh, Queen Teresa. She's fine, guys. She's standing up. Miranda? Don't worry. Queen Teresa is safe. I'm relieved. I couldn't live if something happened to Queen Teresa. I'm relieved. I'm really relieved. You cannot call Sethi a crybaby anymore. I don't care. Please let me cry for now, just for now. Everything has calmed down anyhow. Welcome back, and no one was lost. Fortunately, the damage to the people seems to be minimal. I assume we had the blessing of the divine tree. What was that light? It was as if it was protecting Queen Teresa and Shada. Yes, the light was... A few moments earlier, at least I'm guessing. Are you feeling all right? Not really, but I can't stand still. I see. It seems that all we can do is trust them and wait. Yes, your majesty. What is happening? Oh, this must be a miracle. Shauna, you brought us a miracle. My sisters were guarded by the same light as well. Everyone was saved by you. But I don't know anything about this power. This power is forcing Dart to face danger, and I harm people. The people in Celis, too. It was my fault. That's not true. It was Dole who did that. Who am I? She passed out. It was my fault. I didn't know anything, and I told her too much. Where are you going? To the Mountain of the Mortal Dragon. <laughs> are you leaving Shauna like that? I'll come back after I defeat the Divine Dragon. Miranda, could you take care of Shauna? Are you telling me to stay here? The Divine Dragon is not the only monster in the Mountain of Mortal Dragon. 
You are sacred sister of the country. There's no obligation for you to come with us. Did you forget? I'm one of the dragoons, same as you. I have no intention to withdraw from this battle. Besides, Shauna told me, please take care of the rest. I intend to keep the promise. We have reached an agreement. Everyone, I'm counting on you. Yes, your majesty, please trust us. I'll bring everybody here. Did the two of you have enough time alone? We can wait outside longer if you want. I didn't know you could be sensible, Maru. Ha ha ha. Of course, I learned how to care for others from them. We gotta get going. We will be back soon. Now, Kongle and Rose just didn't know what to say, so then comes worry about that. Oh, no, never mind. Okay. We just didn't want to have too many people in the same room at the same time. Assets, you know? Are you all right? I cannot believe your time. That is no way to talk to a friend. I haven't seen your powers of Dragoon, have I? Are you saying you don't trust me? Please, stop. Miranda is fine. She can do better than me. I hope so. Is she like that all the time? Actually, Rose is concerned about me. What a clumsy woman. Kongul is leaving. You rest. Good for you. I am leaving. Yeah. Now, clearly what's happening with Shauna has uh, nothing to do with why she was trying to be kidnapped in the beginning of the game. Unrelated. Uh, just put that out of your mind. And let's go to the Mount Dragon Tomb. We can disregard the fact that I have no idea how to get there. Uh, that's okay. Am I healed up from that fight or am I beaten up? I have taken some hurt. Can I rest in the same place that Sean is? I, for some reason, I feel like that was the spot, right? Yep, we gotta we gotta get some healing in. We gotta recover from that perspective. Get all healthy. Um. Might as well drop a save, right? Like, who knows what craziness could happen out in wherever. Okay, let's give her. Now, I have no idea where I'm going. Obviously, I know the name of where I'm going, but I do not know the path I need to take to navigate there. Are these? Wow. Whatever, right? All right. The mountains. Are those... I don't know. To the right? Yeah. 
I guess we gotta get a little exploratory here. Yeah, that's where Kamoi was. We'll go this way. We'll get into a random battle. It's a very important part of the process. Yes! Nice. We'll immediately miss. <laughs> Um, okay, I'm going to stop attacking this person. Yes. Wow, this bird is incredibly agile. I feel like I was able to hit these things before, though. So. Yes. Gosh. Okay, Moonstrike's not too bad. That's not too bad. I can do that. Progressing to Dart's final addition. Uh, I think that's cool. Okay, let's go this way. I don't think I was allowed to go this way before, so can I go this way now? Yes, great. Because I don't think I've exited out to the right of the mountain. All right. Just a single dark elf. That's a hilarious animation. Yes. It is nice to start feeling so powerful that it doesn't really matter how perfect my additions are. I just like get to be awesome. I love that. Big fan. I am of the opinion that being powerful is a very enjoyable feeling. Oh. Well, okay, sure. We'll go to neat. Why not? Maybe this is an optional thing, but why not? I see the name of my dad and mom. Okay. I came back to neat. Great. It was neat. Okay, it looks like there's a north out of the uh, forest. So let's go that way instead of the way that goes to the Wingley's spot. Right? Okay, but the one, the way I know is like up there, so that's obviously not it because it goes to the wingly area. So what's the other north? Eh, whatever, we're experimenting, we're figuring it out.
おum you know i think it's interesting that like generally for me i've been keeping with uh Kongle and albert but a lot of people when i'm reading about the game and like uh party preferences and how people like to design their party a lot of people like to go with Hashel and maru and the biggest reason i see cited is like the speed and that's like that's yeah. awesome and don't get me wrong i'm sure that as you level them up get their final additions give them better gear they can be very strong and very fast so like that's really cool i guess it's just like not inherently my play style where i never really build like a light character if that makes sense like someone who doesn't deal a lot of damage but can hit really often i'm more of a sniper if that makes sense i don't mind not hitting all that often as long as when i do it puts things down that tends to be how i like to approach battles uh is even a monster hunter that's why i play with a great sword I guess it doesn't feel very satisfying for me to connect a lot, but still not be able to deal great damage. I I want my hits to feel meaningful. the right button. Do I have to, like, just talk to this guy and be like, hey, I want to go to the mountains? The monster was heading in the direction of Deningrad, and then came back to the mountain of Mortal Dragon. Before the Divine Dragon left, did anybody pass through here? No, sir. No one, no one, sir. They didn't even let a mouse pass, sir, unless they can fly like that monster. Gotcha. Stay in your guard. We are off to defeat the monster. Yes, ma'am. Good luck. Well, I kind of figured it would be, like, right here. Mind purifier. Okay. Off to the mountain of Mortal Dragon. And I'm gonna save because, again, why not? Be safe where I can. Save. Success. Alrighty, Rue. Neil Sasso. I don't know why I read that so dramatically. We know where we are. I just saw it and my brain likes reading words. That's really what it is. When I was a kid and we'd be like driving down the street, I would read every billboard. Um, and to this day, I can't like look at words and not see everything that's yes. immediately in front of me just because of like how my brain works. Uh, so I tell people like, don't open your phone in front of me because I will immediately and unintentionally read every single text on your screen. Like, whatever it is, no matter what, not intentionally, my brain just goes, ooh, words. And I analyze immediately. So it's, it's very difficult for me to not do that. I can, like, look away, but if somebody opens it up and, like, I see the light click, I will instantly read everything. Hmm. Mountain of Mortal Dragon. These look like, um, they were definitely mortal. Yeah. It seems he has just died. Does this mean there was somebody else in here beside us? Lloyd is the only one I can think of. Uh, we can go fight Lloyd. That'd be fun. 
I kind of am like a little concerned about how the fight above is gonna go because I have no idea if the staff is like an item or if I just have to win the fight traditionally and then my characters will use the dragon block staff appropriately. No idea. And I don't want it to be one of those things where you have to use the item at certain times in the battle and if you don't, you die. Ah, you know what? No. Mm. I don't know. All right, let's go into the cave first. Why not? Totally no concerns at all. Just delving into this ruin. I don't know why I'm going down here. It just seemed like the best first place to explore. Uh, okay, that seems like a way out. What? Uh, are these all different exit out of the mountain face that we're climbing? That's my guess. Ooh, a big single enemy. I love when single opponents attack me because then I can just like hammer on. Presumably. Yeah, you deal your 119 damage. Yes. Gush. Ha, gush. Ooh, almost. We're definitely at the point where like the loading into and out of battles last longer than the battles themselves at times, which is kind of funny. But what can you do, right? Ah, missing an item. Oh no. I don't know, I'm kind of over items. is from the top of the mountain a mortal dragon. That was a magic power, an awfully powerful mega magic. And whatever it is, that is our destination. As if it is unburdening his anger all over the world. The anger towards the winglies who sealed it, and us humans who dominated dragons. Then does this mean that Deningrad was chosen to be the place for the declaration of war? We will settle that on top of the mountain of mortal dragon before the next town becomes a victim. All right, come on, let's go get, get, get that cake. Let's go get that cake. Oh, save point. Always exciting. I love random save point. Random save point is one of my best friends. We actually went to middle school together, believe it or not. Uh, but yeah, drifted since then. It's always nice to see. Second uh, enemy from junior high, not my first, second most worst enemy. Uh, random battles right before the loading screen. Yep. Copied off me in science constantly. Frustrating. Actually, that's a lie. I was like... 
I w what's, what's the term the kids use nowadays? I'm, I was a very mid-science student. Um, I guess it really depends on the types, because, like, the way that my schools did things, science was, like, broken into different disciplines. So it was, like, uh, chemistry, physics, biology, and then there's, like, general studies and stuff like that. I was, uh... I was good at physics, I was okay at chemistry, and I was just awful at biology. I don't know why. Um, something about biology just like, I was always awful at. And uh, physics was easier for whatever reason, because like everything basically being an algebraic expression made there was like a, there was like a, there was like a systematic approach to a lot of the issues, right? And for me, that kind of meant like, okay, I know what I can apply in certain situations. The Sound of Swords, no. Has somebody already started to fight against it? Let's go. Either way, we will have to join in. Okay, I'm just trying to take off my hoodie here. <laughs> Come on, hoodie. Oh, fuck. Cool. All right, sorry about that. Whatever. Dirt? I was gonna call you. I'm gonna call you something else. Um. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. You can go back now. There is nobody who would think that. Um. May I excuse myself a bit? You are the representative of the Winglies. Come on. Are you going back to your forest to hide? I, I was just kidding. But I do what I can do. I made up my mind. Anyway, if the people of Sordio knew about this, they would all fall over. Let's do it. Hmm? The boy? It is earlier than I expected. Well, is is the future king of Dragoon, of dragons. Even with the Dragon Buster, which can kill dragons, he still gave me a hard time. But he is almost dead. There is no need for you to come in. You say you are fighting against the Divine Dragon? You broke the seal of the strongest dragon of all, but you couldn't control it. It's the truest king. What are you yapping about? We can kill this man any time. We have to defeat the Divine Dragon first. The Sacred Sister of Neil Sisso. I see the replacement of that girl. How convenient. Shut up. Yeah, I will admit, uh, this is monster is terrifying. Would not want to fight it in real life. Um, Dart and crew are legitimate heroes for being willing to approach it and try. I have no idea if my dragoon form is going to be... Oh, you know what? Okay, if the dragon block staff is... Okay, it's being used here. So I'm going to have to, again, presume... Becoming a Dragoon is going to be basically useless because this anti-dragon field is going into effect right now, right? Attack and defense power of Divine Dragon and Dragoon reduce. Okay, so there we go. If it, I didn't guess that, it would have just going to explain it to me. Now the question is, is this tougher than the thing that was guarding the staff? Kind of. Um, 
Tongle, let's just go ahead with you and then we'll get a heal on someone who's less powerful. Oh, I messed it up, but still, whatever. Yeah, let's let's have Darth do my healing breeze. Albert, don't disappoint. Oh, I disappointed as Albert. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Oh, I'm just going to keep on messing up. That's okay. It's not like this is like some tough boss or anything like that. Nope. Darn. Thought I got that. That's okay. Hmm. Well, this doesn't look good. Are you gonna use your laser beams? This is a cool battle. Undeniably, this is one of the coolest arenas and bosses that's been in the entire game. I love how this thing is like a 1980s Cold War missile ro rocket, rocket launcher, just as much as it is like a dragon. Is it healing? All right, I don't mind if it hurts me. I just don't want it to heal. <laughs> Interesting. Kongle did not like that. So let's use a healing rain. Let's just get back up and make it pretty. Well, you know what? Our, the power of a dragoon is reduced. But is it completely useless? Oh, is he doing that thing again? Well, that's it. Okay, wouldn't mind skipping this. Yeah, okay. Deal lots of damage with your missiles. Not great, bad. Um, I don't know, he seemed to be attacking with wind, so let's, with Albert? Ah, what's the worst that can happen, right? Like, it's reduced effectiveness, but I can still use his uh, spell that like produces damage and it could very well be that uh, oh I can see like the whole dragon when I do that that's cool. so yeah let's let's start off with the rose storm here and see if it gives us any defensive benefit rose storm Awesome. Okay, now we have uh, hopefully some more defense there. I think that helped. Um, now, Dart, let's use your red eyed dragon and just see how effective it is. I also recognize that there's three different points to aim for on this dragon now, so I may want to change where I'm attacking. <laughs> That's okay. Let's see how much damage this thing deals. One eighty one to each of the parts. So that's okay. Okay, so we have divine dragon, divine ball and divine cannon um let's attack your ball <laughs> 6 
60. Gross. <laughs> Okay, lots of damage and stuff. Uh, oh, wow, we are in a bad position and we cannot heal. Oh, that was, that's totally my bad. Oops. Um. Okay, yeah, I need to de-attack, like, use all my D-levels, right? Like, that finishes it? I thought it finished it. I don't know. This might be my bad, in which case I'll have to go back and retry. Mm. <laughs> I'll use your spell here, too. Yeah, I may have uh, put myself in an unhealable position, so I recognize that if I die right here, it's on me. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. That's okay though. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. I should have just stayed fighting normally. Now I just slowly watch them all transition out and die. <laughs> That's okay. We'll go right back. Okay, we are back into the Divine Dragon fight. Uh, I'm going to change up my strategy a little bit this time around. That cannon didn't seem to be great. So I'm going to go cannon, ball, actual dragon itself. That's going to be my order of operations here. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm also not going to use my dragoon forms. Because that was clearly a waste of time before. And I thought maybe, like, the benefits. But now my D-level is so high that, like, I can't get out of the mode in time to heal. And the defensive benefit wasn't really great enough to make it worth it. So, yeah, at this point, we're just going to focus on the Divine Cannon. Taking the hits we can. Oh, I messed up, but that's okay. Yeah, because I can only imagine if we destroy some of the non-essential stuff, we can prevent this. Uh, and then it's more or less a matter of just, like, surviving regular attacks and fighting through the rest as applicable. Oh, I messed up his Kongle, which puts us back a considerable amount, actually. <laughs> Ah, whatever. Oh no. Oh, 
Uh, it happens, right? Now, is this the ball? Like, is that the item itself? Or, I don't know, right? Okay, let's use our last healing breeze here. Keep everyone in tip-top shape. And hopefully, nail another attack against the Divine Cannon. Nice. And this is not my most powerful addition right now, but I gotta level it somewhere, right? So why not on this super powerful boss? Okay, Congo, come on, I don't want to mess up. I messed up again. <laughs> Ah, well, I like the responsibility of having to get good at stuff. It's way better than just accepting your fate. Yes. Go. Tell. Ah, darn. Mm, messed that up, too. I haven't been able to get a good addition this whole fight. <laughs> Ah, well, he seems to be spamming this, like, low damage move, uh, which is A-OK -okay with me, because it keeps on coming back to my turn after he does it. Yes. Gush. Tell Gush. Gush. Hey, you know what? More moon strike completions. I can't argue about that. Okay, that was the cannon, so let's get the divine ball now. Thanks for helping, Congo. Bone Crush, when you nail it, is so much more effective. Okay. Yeah, if you want to keep on doing exactly this, Divine Dragon, I'll be a happy camper. <laughs> um, let's take this opportunity to do a full I know that there are bigger, like, attacks that could come, but I feel like it's just a good idea to keep everyone in good shape. Okay. So I'm curious, yeah, is this the attack that can get prevented if I... Oh, no, it's a different thing. Okay. Does the Divine or the Dragon Ball determine whether or not it can cast these types of spells, though? That's a very legitimate question I have. Nah, I almost nailed it. What are you hitting us with this time, buddy? Might be enough to kill Kongle, because Kongle's magic defense seems to be absolute buttholes. Okay, this is solo target. That's fine. Okay, let's finish off this divine ball. Nice. Okay, now remains the dragon itself. Yes. Go. 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 Nah, I was a little too late on that one. No, okay, the divine ball does not seem to determine if it can bring back cool magic. But solo attacking Dart with fire is a totally acceptable choice, if you ask me. So keep on keep on doing that. That's great. I was way too early. I don't know what I was thinking there.
That's okay, I'll take a double hit. Like, that's, that's totally okay. Nah, too late, I think. I know, like, there's a color differentiator for if you're too late or too early. I'll be honest, I've never seen it. Like, I don't get it. I, I can kind of see a blue or a white in the square, but I don't really see it very clearly. So, you know, that being what it is. Okay, well, we have some folks not looking happy. Let's fully heal up Albert. And heal, fully heal up Ongo. And they'll both get smacked with magic. <laughs> Yep, Kongol's magic resistance sucks. Cool. Nah. I, yeah, I'll, I'll use Albert's turn healing up Dart, but I'm not going to use Kongol's turn. <laughs> Kongol's defense will deal way too much damage. happening this time some spell cool a plus oh wow you're gonna spam it okay i don't hate that or anything it's totally okay Again, at least it's dark. This would probably kill it. This went way better when I just didn't do the dumb thing that I knew I shouldn't have done. I again, I just forget you can't exit Dragoon mode, and so I kind of just thought, oh, I'll just try and do a cast a spell here, yes. and it'll be a, a, a okay. But no, it was not a okay. And there we go. Yeah, super cool design.
That is... Yes. This is the Dragoon Spirit. Uh-oh. Yo, more levels. Level 30. J Dragon. A lot of good stuff. Awesome. This is the soul of the divine dragon. The flame of a soul that sparkles only the last moment of a dragon's life. Its crystal is the dragoon spirit. As I expected, it doesn't sparkle in my hands. Lloyd, that was your purpose, wasn't it? This is just a little prize for a prize. I don't need additional power to destroy the world. The Divine Dragon was a mere obstacle to my ideal. I fought against it for the, uh, that reason only. You're the one who formed the conspiracy to destroy the world. The King of Sergio, what brought you all the way here? Is it the frustration of having your moon taken? Or your feelings toward your loyal friend, Lavitz? Don't even mention that name. It is too early yet to settle things. Wait, don't be so hasty. I'll see you soon. Where is he going? He is leaving the mountain. Chase him. Oh, okay, we gotta go chase him. Oh, run, run, oh my god. Random battle in this dramatic moment. Really? Really? No, it's okay. It's fine. It's 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 totally appropriate. Yeah, the Divine Dragon, pretty cool. Definitely my fault messing up the first time. I probably could have like no sold the boss had I not made the mistake of coming to the dragon and trying to cast a spell or do something cool. Um, I should have just trusted that it was a useless move and was going to prevent me from being able to heal and protect myself. Oh well. Now everything's dealt with. Uh, and I'm level 30, which is awesome. Halfway to max level. I don't know if I'm going to hit max level in the con, like within the parameters of the campaign, but we'll see. Either way, with this save point up here, I will call this episode at this moment. Thanks for watching Legend of Dragoon, and we'll continue to chase Lloyd down this mountain next episode. Keep breezy till then. Bye.